14 year old rahul khatri and his friends now call their school home the basundhara academy classrooms are temporary shelters for residents in this area after repeated aftershocks and cracks on their building walls forced many to flee their homes bhi aapko ghar jane mein dar lagta hai nahi mera ghar toot gaya hai main ja bhi nahi sakta ha aur aur yahan par school mein hi aap reh rahe ha main school mein hi reh raha hu acha there are more than 100 people living in this school alone The widespread damage has meant a majority of schools are now makeshift relief camps where parents and teachers alike share the load from cooking to everyday chores. Most of the schools are like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the uh, peoples yeah, they had left home they had left their buildings and they had come to these open places yeah, like schools yeah. uh, in this uh, this type of buildings where there is a uh, uh, there is no more ricks they are sitting here they are living here now in nowadays. For now children are happy that their play time doesn't come with any restrictions but for parents there is the additional worry of what happens to their education gir sakta hai lekin roz yahan baithna bhi theek nahi hai na school chalana hai ha ye badi baat hai school chalana hai ab ye school chalana ke liye humne jagah to chhod dena chahiye Nepal is fighting battles on multiple fronts and the education may not be the top priority in the immediate aftermath of the earthquake Getting back to school may also help children overcome some of the trauma they have been witness to. In Basundhara with camera persons Azam Siddiqui and Ashok Mahale, Keetki Angre for NDTV.